today we're going to make some fried corn. I have a can of sweet kernel corn and I have a can of cream style corn. You pull, you want to drain the juice off your whole kernel corn. And I did not get my pepper down. It's a very, very simple, quick, very inexpensive meal. Well, side dish. Okay. I'm going to pour my cream corn in. my whole kernel corn yeah. I'm gonna dazzle some pepper that's for something else and then I'm going to I'm gonna use about two tablespoons Then I'm going to mix this all together. Now, the key to doing this is it depends on. Now, me, I am going to add. Another can of whole kernel. So it's two cans of whole kernel to one can of cream. It doesn't take very long for this to cook. Like it's easy. Remember, you have to drain, drain the juice off of the whole kernel. Just put this in. I don't know why I just really can't make just a little. Then you gotta stir. Now, I'm gonna turn this up a little. No, oh, no, I'm not. That's a medium fire. Now, once this all get real good and heated, nine out of ten, I'm gonna add probably. Another tablespoon of margarine and um, the key to it is it's going to cook all the juices out of it and you're going to continuously stir and stir until it, you're frying it and I'm telling you this is so delicious. We're gonna, we're gonna, again, like I said, it's all about, you know, cooking all the juices down, juices out, and then you begin to fry. So, as you can see, it's plenty of juice and margarine, but like I said, that, that margarine gonna take in play when you start, when it starts frying. Again, cook down for a little bit and um, when it gets down real good see it's, bo it's bubbling now but all of it is not so we got some action over here a little right there but again see all that liquid all that's going to that 
that's the whole kernel corn and the cream corn. That's the juices that it's cooking in. So by the time all of that, your liquid is gone, your corn will be done. So it will not be uncooked. So, and again, when it starts frying, this is what you want to do. Constantly stir, turn, because you don't want it to stick. It will get to a point where it starts sticking, and you want to constantly stir. And there's a good chance, not all the time, I'm going to put a little more margarine in. You know, not only for the flavor, but to help continue to fry it. It's not going to fry like chicken, but this is how you fry corn. So, I'm going to let that do what it do, and I'll be back. Okay, I let it cook. Look at that. I tell you to start trying to stick. And just stir it up. It's starting to thicken up as well. It's, it's going to thicken up pretty good. So, there's still enough juice in here for me to. We'll let it sit for about two more minutes, and uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, I told you guys two minutes, but it's only been a minute. See how that's starting to stick real good? It only takes like a minute, because it's still pretty juicy. But you don't want to burn it, so just toss it around. Let it sit. I'm going to bring you back when it's about just when I need to constantly stir it. I'll bring you back. Okay. Here, frying. Okay. And what you want to do is just keep doing this because it's still got quite a bit of juice in it. I'm going to keep doing it. Like I said, sometimes I, I now you can fix this with oil. I I prefer margarine. But you can fix it with oil. You can fix it with butter. And you can fix it with margarine. Um, like I said, this is just generally how you fry corn and it is so delicious. Man, especially if you are a corn eater, you are going to love this. You are going to absolutely love it. Now, see I'm still good. I don't necessarily, but you know what, like I said, it's going to start frying. I'm going to put about two more tablespoons of margarine. Like I said, it's This, um, some of it is still not quite done. That's why you want to be cooking it. Now you could turn your fire down if you want. I'll leave mine up. I'm going to bring you back in the bottom. Mm. You hear that? It's right. Starting to fry. Good. Mm. I'm going to let it 
it do that for about a minute and I'll be back. Okay. Like I said, it depends. Use your own discretion. I put a little more uh, margarine in because I really wanna. I want that buttery flavor. Let me turn my fire up a little. Because there's been times where you know when it get to this point. I don't even leave it until it's complete because it'll start frying and it'll start sticking to the bottom of the pan. Again, this is sweet corn that you're using. And and you know, anytime you put anything sweet with heat, it can burn real easy. Or should I say quick. So again, you're gonna get like those Come on, every, I would say, come here. Let me show you something. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. See how that looks a bit decolorated and chunky. That's that is also the butter, the juice, and the cream that's in the cream corn. And that's what you want to do. Stir. I'm gonna tell you when I know it's ready. See all of that. It'll be somewhat, how can I put this, um, candid. It'll be somewhat candid on here. It's not sweet like candy yams. It's not like that. Like I said, this is a, how you fry corn. Just joking, it's nothing like popcorn. But, um, oh, while well, I'm standing here doing this, I want to give a shout out to my goddaughter, Dina. She did my hair, mom's hair, hair again, as you can see. I'm looking good over here. Yeah, she's on West 7 Mile. I don't know the address by her. But I put it on my Facebook page. But um, write a comment. Ask me for the number. See, look here. I'm gonna show you this. See that? See it? I'm scraping off the bottom. See right there? That lets you know it's almost ready. And you have to stir it because if you don't, it can burn easy at this point. And burnt corn just not something that I do. I don't do nothing burnt. I, I just I don't like that burnt taste. I just don't. I never have. Mm. Yes. I hope everybody enjoyed the they New Year. And their Christmas. Making new resolutions. You know, I was talking to um, I, uh, I'm going back to school get my bachelor's in science. But uh, I was talking to a counselor and the conversation somewhat uh, shifted to he um, I told him as far as you know me going back to school after so many years that was his question and I basically told him a lot of times People fail to realize, well, I'm going to say in my life uh, situation, I find that a lot of times it's not the injury, it's the recovery. In other words, like I'm, 
I'm frying this corn. Let's see. If I let it burn, what would be, now that's the injury, what would be my recovery is I don't let it get me upset. I give it to my dog and I make some more. <laughs> so again, it's, it's a lot of times people, please, don't get stressed out. Life is too short. Enjoy it. Enjoy it to the fullest. Because the end of the world is not everybody's end of the world. The end of the world is when it's your turn to go. So, um, I, I'm taking a lot of things more seriously. Oh, happy birthday to me. Yesterday, um, I told my husband I didn't want to make a big fuss or nothing. I want, you know, try to keep it simple. But I wanted a pair of gym shoes from everybody. <laughs> so, and so far it's going very well. But, um, like I said, I'm getting older. And I'm loving it. I hear some people say, I don't want to get old. Oh, I do. I want to get old. Because if you don't get old, if you don't get older... That means you gotta die young. I don't wanna do that. So, with all that being said, look at my fried corn. Come on. Now, I know for a fact this corn is good and done. I didn't really look like I didn't really have to put that extra margarine in, but. It's not, you know, it didn't hurt nothing. Because as you could tell, it was sticking to the skillet. It's no longer doing that. All it's doing is frying now. <laughs> you can hear it. Oh, I'm not talking about my my yams over here cooking. I'm going to face my dad some yams. I'll tell you. That man, a hundred pounds soaking wet. But he eats like a, like a person my size. So, again, oh, oh we touched that a little bit. See, I can leave that unattended for a second. I'm going to get a dish. Put that in. I did something I know I never do. I left the spoon there. See, you forget about this is cooking on a hot stove, and sometimes you pick it up and it's burning. Okay, we're gonna pour this into a bowl. Get another spoon. Wipe that goodness off. Again, this is basically the cream part of the corn. It will plunk up, and that's good too. Let me get a saucer. This is what it looks like. I 
And see, I'm a corn lover too. Mm. It's a beautiful side dish. I guarantee you. Even if you're not a corn lover, you'll love it. And I know most of y'all see me picking. That's because my preference is a fork. I rarely eat with a spoon. I do. But you enjoyed it. Mm. Please like, share, comment. Now also, I could have, I'm going to tell you, green, chop up some green onion. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Chop up some green onion and um, put it in this. Like I said, you can add according to your taste. Sometimes I use green onions, sometimes I don't. I just fix it just like that because it's quick and get it over with. Well, as always, love you. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not, please do. I'll see you on my next quick video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pause this because I am going to make some homemade biscuits. But... Listen, I am using the flake biscuits, so I never use